Hi, everybody. Week seven. Okay, week seven is the big week when you are working on drafts of the briefing paper. And you can see how um, in our sort of class setup, the, the focus is on visualization of data. Um, and then um, there is uh, a link for visual rhetorical figures. I think this section is really important. What I'm noticing as I'm looking at student drafts is that borrowing like clip art and just an images that may have some relationship to the briefing paper may not be the best way forward. You have to really think about audience when you're working uh, on images in this class and using and or creating the best images. And so here's uh, 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 some interesting links to show um, how data can be used to inform people, but also um, how data can be used to misinform people. So we want to make sure we're on the, the informing ethically side of this equation. Um, and then you can also see the link for visual rhetorical figures and advertising. Um, figure selection um, can be saved until after the main portion of the writing is done. And remember, table basic lists won't for this paper count um, fully as figures. Um, but tables would, so tables with data and tables can be basic. The idea is not to be complex for complex, for complexity's sake. Um, but you really want to work on the quality, um, of your images. And so that's what some of these readings are going to do for you this week. They're going to show you, um, what's happening, um, when, uh, images and data relate to, to audiences and how we can sort of beef up our game. And then, of course, you can see this this quick link to the drift stats. So, a discussion topic, data visualization and visual rhetorical figures. So, the readings and the discussions are directly related. And I hope that our conversations over the weekend, you're posting on Friday, I'm responding to you on Saturday and Sunday, um, will really sort of help you see what what the goal is for these images in this text. Think about how purposeful the images you used were for the quick start guide and for writing instructions. Um, think about that. You're not just doing screenshots um, of a web page anymore, um, but you're creating or you're finding something that's directly related to your text. In addition, the only other thing you've got is this assignment. Um, the uh, writing is the only other thing. Writing assignment five, this briefing paper. Your briefing paper is due July 5th, which is the end of the week. And of course, once you click on the overview, you'll get the discussion of the sections. Please remember that in the sections of this paper, you do not, for writing assignment five, have the TOC and you do not have um, a memo. We've streamlined it a little bit. We've grown the research and it's become more heavily academic. Um, and that's something that, that it's been great that I've been able to work with students on that. Um, for example, using the situation described, you could integrate the following. A table that illustrates percentage of companies using online editorials, a graph that shows how training and phishing has increased, and a pull quote. A pull quote is nice. It's like when you're um, looking at um, a newspaper and it's one of those quotes just in one in bigger font to draw your eyes to a particular um, uh, a piece of text that stands out and represents the whole. Okay. So remember the due date is the fifth. Uh, if you want to work with me on this, um, don't work, don't conference on weekends generally, but, um, reach out and, and email me and, and set some time up. Um, this will be due at the end of week seven, week eight, you've got presentation content going. Okay. So that's what's happening this week. It's a pretty streamlined week. If you have any questions on any of this, all you have to do is reach out and let me know.